in this video we are going to explore about framer important features about framer by using framer you will be just entering prompts and by entering prompts you can actually generate a website layout now if you have a little bit understanding about html then basically css properties like position and floats then like there are basic the concepts about position which is relative then absolute then sticky if you have some sort of understanding about a media query function flexbox then especially grid layout then it will be really much important to check framer if you don't know how to code it is also fine so what is actually framer all you need to do just open your google and just type over here framer and this is the link now let me show you something so you can actually create this beautiful framer web page by using its tools by using all the items that it provides in its website this is the pricing section this is the enterprise section this is the gallery section this is the community you can join their community and can share whatever project that you are going to make you can share it in in their community open framer well now now let's talk about the most important thing about frame now what is framer it is basically a react based website by using which you can actually create the user interface so if you know figma then it will be really helpful in learning framer as you can see over here figma whatever user interface that you have entered in figma you can insert it over here if you know figma and then let's explore the ai website all the website templates as you can see these are beautiful website templates preview let's go for preview let's pick this one okay it is taking a bit time yes so as you can see this beautifully created website is done by framer this website layout latest introducing ChatGPT plugins and all that this is beautifully created by using framer if you just have learned html css and javascript it will be much more time consuming as compared to that but definitely in case of freedom learning vanilla css is much more appreciable but let's say for understanding no coding required so for understanding it is really important to understand how actually the interfaces works so yes this is one of the website there are other beautiful looking website that we can explore there are other things of course they have their subscription over here you need to pay for having all these templates usable and make it all your own now this is what you can do in their community you can actually share beautifully done website and can and can acquire that as we can see over here this is the actual software over here let's start with knowing the important icons and their usages because if we don't know how to use their icons then we will not be able to make any sort of projects so first of all this is the menu bar inside this menu bar you will be finding a whole lot of thing like this file section and you can create the new page or inside the new page there are other things you can just go and explore this is the view where you will be able to zoom in or zoom out the entire structure however you can do by pressing ctrl and scroll button well and then comes the tool bar inside this toolbar this is really important inside this toolbar you can insert you can just insert all these things then you will be finding this text icon this text bar you can just insert it from here this one okay so let me show you and there you will be finding the graphic there you will be finding component these are not much of use the main things actually come over here this layout section it is really important to know about these tools these tools are really important to understand about now this is where you will be creating your entire web page so what you will be doing is just click on this insert icon 
so in this insert icon you will be finding if you create pages you will be finding different sorts of pages like let's say if you want to create a landing page for your website all you can do is just to add this page add this page and boom this is basically this is the basic layout of for creating the landing page you can do the editing by yourself even basically the name for your entire project you can insert your name the, and there you'll be finding the portfolio one if you just create over here it will provide the basic layout of a portfolio how portfolio is actually designed third section you'll be able to find this navigation bar now it is really important for a website to have a navigation bar so inside this navigation bar you will be finding tons of designs about navigation and there are many kind of navigation bar design you can just click over here and can insert it at the very top of your website you can customize it all you need to do is just to click over here relative instead of relative you can just click over here at as absolute and can just adjust the entire thing entire width here you will be getting some menu buttons menu rules or something like that. you can just insert it this section is really important in this section you will be finding creative creative you can insert all the sorts of grid pattern design all the sorts of amazing things like let's say this one it is really important to have the knowledge about relative absolute fixed and sticky so you just need to insert drag and insert it at a place where you want to in play your video and click on absolute absolute you can also click over here as a duplicate to make the duplicated items control d right you can just uh, you can just press over here as control d there are many items over here yes you can also maintain the spacing by using this one you can insert various sort of forms like this is the basic form structure then comes the icons so these are some extra things that we can explore that totally depends upon our creativity and of course you will be needing to um, install the various social media if you are making your website then it is really important to it is really important to um, insert your social media icons so it is a very great tool to have it with us okay so that is it for today's video if you love this video then make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for getting more and more important video updates and i will see you next time